All right, I'm going to give you a quick overview here of uh, a couple of the things that uh, I saw in the car. So this we knew about. We talked about this when it was on the trailer. But, you know, there's this patch panel here that was, well, no patch panel was ever put in. Um, they just put the rocker right over the, the rotted piece there. And, you know, it's, it's soft. So definitely something that needs to be, um, you know, not a, not a big deal to zip out a piece and put a new piece in. Um, so underneath here, so the first thing, you know, right away, some of these big globby welds everywhere, um, these are just ugly. I mean, there's still, you know, welding rod still sticking out everywhere. So the whole bottom of that rocker is like that, and um, it is, as you can see here, there's there's no welds for quite a, quite a bit of distance. So I'd like to add some more in there too, obviously, to button that up. So underneath here, and this is the uh, passenger side right now, just so you can figure out where we are. So this kind of stuff, all these big welds everywhere, um, that's ugly. And it's just, you don't want to see that underneath the car. It's just, it's ridiculous. It takes not a whole lot of effort to, you know, clean all this up so you don't see that, you know. You don't want to look under the car and see that someone's been welding. Um, and it's not a bad thing to have someone welding under a car, but it, you just, you don't want to see it. It just, it's a turn off. So this right here, this is the, um, you know, spring, spring pocket, um, front section of the frame here. And you can see this is not welded whatsoever to the floor. Okay, so that's not good. <laughs> so that's one big thing that uh, needs to be addressed. And it's, as you can see, it's not, not welded to the side either. It's a little hard for me under here to pry this. I'm only a couple inches off the ground here. Um, but that needs to be tied back into the floor, obviously. Um, let's see, what else was on this side? <clears throat> so up, up here, you know, here's just some more just just ugly it's just you know oh, there's a little spider it's just poor craftsmanship that's all up in the front here which I think you said you already knew about this but uh, oh there we go up in the front you know that both sides that is not even tied into the floor so there's a lot of movement going on between the rocker and the floor and the the different frame mount points and stuff like that so that's what's going on on that side now, the other side is actually uh, the, the side that's a lot worse. <clears throat> so, right off the bat, right from the top here, um, here we have the rocker on the floor, right here. You can hear that. I mean, that whole thing, that whole seam, front all the way up, is not attached. You can hear that creaking. That's what I heard <clears throat> just from standing up here and like moving the car back and forth. <clears throat> and I was uh, standing inside it too, and I could hear hear it creaking. So I knew something was not right. Um, let me show you underneath. <clears throat> All right. So let me get my light over here. All right. It's the same thing, obviously. You know about this. The whole thing's not not supported there. Now, if you look, there's a couple of welds. There's one there, and there's one up in the front. Um, but you come down this thing, and there's no, there's almost no welds. Oh, I'm sorry, on this rocker to the floor. Um, I see there are some welds here, but that is actually the floor to the inner rocker. Um, but probably the hardest thing to film <laughs> from the outer rocker to the floor I mean that thing is not attached at all um, let's see if I can find a better spot here to show you I mean I can hear the whole thing moving and I looked I looked down the whole thing and you know pried it and there's there's no welds holding this rocker to the inner rocker or the the floor brace it's kind of free floating all the way down um, it's welded up on top but nothing down here which uh, 
obviously that defeats the purpose. Something else too, these floor braces, um, all the spot welds are drilled out. Um, it takes two seconds to plug weld these things back because now you get a bunch of hollow holes in the thing and it looks ridiculous. Um, so it seems to be attached to the floor okay, but these are all left open and it, it looks it looks terrible. Um, let's see, I thought there was one place. No, that's good there. I'm just trying to remember. So, okay, here in the back, let me show you this. So I'm thinking of the other thing there. Again, here's the front frame, you know, spring perch mount area. Something was done there. There's a little goob of weld there, but this thing, again, is not tied in. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, honestly, but it's moving a good, a good inch, if not more. So this, you know, the whole thing's moving. Get down here on the side. I mean, you can hear it. You might not be able to see it. The whole thing is just not together. And the rocker back here, here's a good place to, to kind of see. You know, none, of, none of it's attached. I think you get the point. Um, so that all needs to be addressed. Um, you know, a few, you know, like stuff like this, it just, it, it looks like a, you know, little kid put that together. You know, just like random stuff, like there's a bead of weld there. Like, why would you leave that? So there's just all these little things under here. I mean, it needs to be all grounded, you know, nice and flush. Um, I know the drive shaft goes in here. Oh, let's see if it zooms. Um, but obviously, if the thing's going to be on a rotisserie, um, I would like to see this weld from the two floor pan seams cleaned up. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, that's it's just ugly. You know, all the way down this seam across here, you know, there's still... There it goes. There's still welding wire sticking all through. It's just, it's ugly. It's everywhere. Um, I'd like to get this nice and flush, clean it all up, um, so you don't you don't see it. You know, I, you don't want to crawl into the car and see all that. It's just, it's goofy. Um, let's see, what else was under here? It's kind of hard to move under here with the camera, so <laughs> I feel like I'm a little handicapped right now. Um, See up in the front here. You know, again, you get the point. This whole thing needs to be uh, welded up, ground down, and because that thing's moving so much, um, I, I was a little concerned about um, if anything's moved or not. I mean, everything seems decent, but I mean, it's moving. I mean, I, I can I can watch the the roof move when I'm moving down here, so it's definitely got some movement to it. Uh, let's see what else. Here's the roof. Obviously, you know, it's quite a bit of body fill in that thing. And this is uh, this is just Bondo brand filler. I mean, it's it's junk that was going to crack the second you stepped on the gas. So that's obviously all going to get taken out and um, the right stuff put in. Um, there's a couple of holes. Um, I think it, to me it looks like a uh, maybe a tree or, or something landed on the side of the car. Um, you know, obviously there's a bunch of holes in the quarter. Um, somebody was trying to. Um, you know, drill out and pull pull the dents out all the way up. So that's what I'm assuming. There's some holes up here. That's what they were trying to do. Um, you look inside the roof. All oh, the body filler oozing down through the holes, and you can't really see it, but the thing's all wrinkled in there. So something definitely hit the side of the car, and they were trying to uh, to fix it up. Um, same thing up here. There's another hole from a stud gun. Um, a lot of body filler in that side of the roof. So something definitely hit the, hit over here. Uh, bottom of the the windshield pillar, a couple little pinholes coming through. Um, the rest of it seems okay, so that might just be uh, zip out a piece and put a piece in there, um, as long as I don't see anything else going on. Obviously, you know the cowl over here. <clears throat> All the, uh, the holes on this side. I have a parts car outside. It has this whole section in really nice shape. So I'm thinking right here there's some spot welds because there's a brace that runs under here. I'm thinking just zip this thing here and put the piece in from the parts car and that'll take care of that whole, whole section there. Um, I think that parts car has this section a good piece too. This this piece in good condition too so um, I can cut that out and put that in here as well. 
Um, I, my pick hammer went through here. It's a little rotted, so <clears throat> that's got to need to be addressed. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? Obviously, you know, in the wheelhouse here, there's some rot there. Um, not a big deal. I can I can repair that. Um, I'll just I'll make a piece to put in there. <clears throat> the rest of the wheelhouse is fine. Um, it's actually really nice shape, so there's no sense in changing wheelhouses and all that. That's way over the top. So I can make a piece for there. Um, you know, again, all down in here. None of this is attached. I mean, so again, you get the point. I'll have to get in there and take care of that. There's this spot here, which is a little funky. It's kind of a weird spot. Um, so I'll have to take a look at that and um, see what's what exactly is going on there. Uh, probably not a big deal, but you got the patch panel here, the hole here, all the holes, and the I mean the things all mushed in here. Eh, I have to look at the pricing and the timing and everything. Is it worth putting a quarter on the side? Maybe, um, but I have to look at that. I mean, if I can fix what's on here, that's what I'll do. Um, Obviously, you know about this down here. These quarters are not tied into the tail pan at all. So that has to be all figured, and this needs to be finished welded up. Um, what I saw under here, if you can see that, I don't know. It's kind of dark up there. Um, when he changed the tail pan, he left the trunk uh, lip in place, which is fine. Uh, but it's, it's a little ugly in there. Um, I think it'll be okay. I mean, I think what I'll do is I'm going to run my seam sealer under the tail pan here. I think I can just bring it up and just do a nice thin layer under there just to, just to hide it because it is a little ugly. I mean, you're not going to see it, but what you do see is on the inside here, um, there's a very sharp lip. Ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> there's a very sharp lip all the way down. Um, that needs to be ground a little bit smoother. Um, it's it's dangerous, but not only that, it you do see it when you peek into the trunk. So um, not a big deal just to clean that up. Um, same thing with these tail pan. All these welds here, they're not the prettiest, um, but that will be seam sealed. So there's a couple high ridges on a few of them. I'm gonna just knock them down, but that I'm not gonna worry about it. That'll be seam sealed. Um, same thing within here. The bead of weld under the trunk lock, all the way down in there. This piece was off when they did the tail pan. <clears throat> they should have ground that, cleaned it up before they put this back on. They didn't. So, yes, this gets seam sealed. I'm just going to have to kind of brush them in there to hide that because um, there's really no way to get a grinder in there at this point. Um, the rest of it looks okay. Um, you know, the weld for the, the pan that they put in, you can see it goes all the way up there. Um, that's ugly. I want to grind that smooth. So this trunk floor looks like it was never changed. Um, right now it's pretty obvious that that there's a whole, you know, weld bead going around it. So I'd like to finish that off so it looks nice in here. Um, this quarter over here definitely looks like it was changed for sure. Um, you know, some of this is just really ugly in here. Um, I want to clean some of that up. Um, there's sheet metal screws that they used to hold the panel in place when they were fitting it. Um, they are all throughout the panel. There's probably about a dozen of them and they never took them out after they welded it in. So that's just a very minor thing but it's something I saw and I thought that was kind of silly. Um, same thing over here. Tail pan is not tied into the quarters so that's got to be done. Um, the pins for the windshield clips are not on here so that's obviously um, a telltale sign the quarter was changed. Um, the only thing that I see that's really goofy about this quarter under here, this lip between the wheelhouse and the quarter is really ugly. There's big chunks of welding slag and it's really sharp and um, that needs to be addressed because that's, that's really bad. Again, not a big deal, but to put on a rotisserie, get the thing sideways and get all these little spots taken care of um, is obviously the easiest way to do it. Um, any other way, it's just it'd be silly to try and do it all while it's on the on the floor. Um, I think those are the big things. Um, I have a list. Let me kind of look at it real quick here. Obviously, we talked about the roof. That's going to be the big question mark. Um, you know how that's all together. Um, make sure that's cut correctly. Um, 
I think you you must obviously you know about these rear floors. They got some pinholes in them, so I think you said you might have the floor pans pieces for those, um, or you know however you want to take care of that. But there's some pinholes in those rear floors. Um, here we talked about the bottom of the cowls, the fender mounts, which again we pointed this out when it was on the trailer. <clears throat> Both of these bottom fender mounts are just like bent way in, so um, I'll have to get the fenders on and. Um, bend them down and get them lined up where they're supposed to go because right now they're curled curled all the way up this one's totally curled up almost 180 degrees so got to take care of that there's a couple little spots in the bottom here so that'll have to be addressed um, let's see what else do I got on here um, I think that's about it really um, yeah, just a lot of the stuff I wrote down here was just everything underneath that I saw. Um, there's more I could show you if you were in person, but it's kind of hard to try and do it while I'm filming. But yeah, all that's got to get tied together. All those welds should be ground down um, and just make the thing look correct. I just remembered right here. As you can see that, if it zooms in, pinhole there, and then oh, here is the other one up here. Is that where it was? Yeah, there's a little pinhole there couple little pinholes in there. Um, that's why I started wondering if it was worth changing the, the whole quarter out, if that's actually going to be more quick and efficient to do that versus trying to attack all the small issues on it. Um, I haven't made my mind up on that yet, so I think I'll get the thing blasted and then make a decision from there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, you know, right now, the way this roof is, too, I mean, I know once we get the support braces in, it'll be fine, but the way the roof sits, I mean, look at that thing. It's got such a twist to it. You can see that driver's side T-top pole disappears, and the left one's still there. So that's that's going to be a big question mark. we got to get those pieces in there and um, get some measurements and make sure that's where it's supposed to be and um, make sure we can get it, you know, stiffened up. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, any other questions, let me know, and I will answer them.